Hey everyone, welcome back to the Lions from Lambs YouTube channel. I'm Rob Malone. Today, we're going to build on what we covered in the last video lesson, moving on to two-digit addition with regrouping. Now remember, regrouping is when we carry the one from the ones place to the tens place when we get a sum greater than nine in the ones place. Now this can be a challenging concept for kids to learn at first, so when we teach it in school, we use multiple concrete and pictorial models to let kids actually see what's happening. Those models are exactly what we've been working with since the beginning of these video lessons. Let's get started. All right, so let's review quickly what addition is. Addition is a mathematical operation that combines two or more numbers to find their total or sum. And sum means the combined total of two or more numbers. Or more simply put, sum is the answer to an addition problem. Now regrouping means putting into groups again or putting into new groups, but in mathematical context, Regrouping is rearranging ones into groups of 10 and relocating them from the ones place to the tens place. Regrouping becomes necessary when the digits in the ones place add up to 10 or more, or more simply put, when they add up to a two digit number. Now we also regroup in higher place values anytime the sum of the digits is a two digit number, but we're only working with two-digit addition in this lesson, the ones place and the tens place. Okay, so let's look at regrouping in practice. We're going to work with the addition problem 26 plus 15. We always want to be mindful of our place values. The six digit and the five digit are in the ones place and the two digit and the one digit are in the tens place. So let's go ahead and stack these numbers vertically so we can work with them a little more easily. Now, we're gonna start with base 10 blocks. So for the visual, I'm going to add the frame. So 26 is represented in base 10 blocks as six units and two rods. 15 is represented with five units and one rod. So now we have a clear visual of the problem. Now we always want to start in addition, always, always, always with the ones place. So when we count up all these units, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, 11, okay? And when we count the rods, we have one, two, three. And here's the problem we run into. 26 plus 15 is not 311. So we have to figure out a different way to solve this problem. So to start, I'm going to merge the frames vertically. Now we still have 11 units in the ones place and three rods in the tens place. Before I start counting these units again, I'm going to align them vertically. I'm gonna take the six there at the top and I'm simply gonna stack them so it's one vertical tower. Now, a crucial concept to understand is that the total value in this addition problem never changes. The total value between 26 plus 15 is constant. So we can manipulate the numbers any way we want as long as we do not alter the total value, or in other words, as long as we don't add any value to the problem or subtract anything from it. Okay. So here's where regrouping comes into play. We have a value of 11 in the ones place, 11 units. 
Now, each rod in the tens place has a value of exactly 10 units. So 10 units has the same value as one rod. So what we're going to do is we are going to take those 10 units and convert them into one rod, which has the same value. Now let's pause and take stock of where we are. In the tens place, we still have a total of three rods, which is a value of 30. And in the ones place, we have one rod and one unit, which still gives us a value of 11 in the ones place. This is what I was talking about earlier. The total value has not changed, even though we've manipulated how we represent those values. So what we're going to do now is we're going to move or relocate this tens rod that has a value of 10, and we're going to relocate that to the tens place. So now, starting as we always do with the ones place, we have one unit. And that gives us an answer of one in the ones place. And in the tens place, we have four rods, which we know is a total value of 40. But since it's four rods, we're going to put a four in the tens place answer. So 26 plus 15 equals 41. So now let's look at the same problem, and this time let's look at it using expanded form. 26 expands to 20 plus 6. 15 expands to 10 plus 5. Now, we're going to go ahead and add our 1s first. So 6 plus 5 equals 11. Now we move to the tens and 20 plus 10 equals 30. We're still expanded here, but we're going to expand it just a little bit more because 11 expands out to 10 plus 1. So now when we condense these numbers, 30 plus 10 is 40, 40 plus 1 equals 41. And we've gotten the same answer as we did with our base 10 blocks. Now look, this may seem overcomplicated, and it is in a way. Kids who are learning this type of math for the first time need to see this process multiple times and they need to practice it so that they can get a solid grasp of what's actually happening in the math problem they're working on. But that being said, let's move on to the strategy we actually want the kids to learn and use, the standard algorithm. So we're stacked vertically. The frame is there to help us keep track of our place values, and I've added a little box right here at the top left corner of the tens place frame. Now, that is helpful to have for kids so that they can remember exactly where to put the regrouped 10, which they're going to learn how to do in the standard algorithm. So again, we'll start with the ones as always. So 6 plus 5 equals 11. And of course, now we're back to having a two-digit number in the ones place. But to correct this so that we can get an accurate answer, and we know already because we've solved this twice, we need to get 41 as our answer. We're going to go ahead and do the very same thing that we did earlier with the base 10 blocks. 
we're going to regroup a value of 10 and move it or relocate it to the tens place. Now, just as a quick refresher, if we look at the number 11, which is the answer we have at the moment in the ones place, we see one of the digits one is in the ones place. The other digit one is in the tens place. The one in the ones has a value of exactly one and the one in the tens place has a value of exactly 10. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that one in the tens place with a value of 10 and just like we did with the rod that had a value of 10, we're going to relocate that to the tens place. Okay. Now, once we've done that, we're home free. All we have to do now is add up all the digits or the values in the tens place. And if we look at it, we've got the original two, 10, um, two in the tens place, plus one in the tens place is three. And then we must always remember to add the one we just regrouped. So two plus one is three, plus one is four. And so now we've got our answer, 41. The one major thing kids struggle with, and it's just a matter of practice, is they forget to add that one that they've regrouped. So a lot of kids will typically get, as an answer to this problem using the standard algorithm, they'll get 31 instead of 41. But that can be corrected over time with practice and guidance. That's why you want to always be involved with your kids when they're doing these problems so that you can see it and get that little redirection. And then again, repetition is the mother of skill with the practice, 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 it sticks. So let's like look at one more problem, a totally clean problem that we haven't looked at with all these different methods and we'll solve it quickly with the standard algorithm, which is exactly how we want our kids to be solving their math problems um, in addition, moving forward. So we've got 47 plus 26. All right, just like always, we're going to start with the ones place. 7 plus 6 is 13. Okay, we're going to regroup the tens place in 13. So we're going to regroup that one and relocate it to the tens place, knowing that it has a value of 10. And then we're going to add up the tens place. 4 plus 2, which were the two original digits, 4 plus 2 equals 6. And then we remember to add the 1 that we regrouped. 6 plus 1 is 7. And we get 73 as our answer. Now, it sometimes takes kids a little while to get the standard algorithm down, especially when we've added in problems where they have to regroup. However, once they get the standard algorithm down and they get plenty of practice with it, and they also understand exactly what they're doing when they're moving that one over, they absolutely dominate addition problems. So hopefully that gives you a good base from which you can help your child when they're working with regrouping in addition. As always, we want them to use the standard algorithm, but they may need to use the models until they get a firm grasp of the concept. Thank you for your time. If you found value in the video lesson, please click the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more. If you have a comment, question, or suggestion, leave it below. Until next time, take care.